So today I'm doing another trap tunnel build. Now, this is I really don't think has ever been used. I'm kind of taking inspiration from my double decker build and modifying it slightly. Like I'm doing it on a bigger scale, but with uh, more floor launches and all that. But also with wooden floor spikes, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's, it's different to the double decker build, but you can see how it's taken inspiration from it. And so. Obviously, I'm using my trap tunnel build. I always have his frozen castle, mega base, power modulation, fielder base, electrified floors, tough traps, and then supercharged traps just for the extra trap damage. This is very roughly how this tunnel is going to look. So, let's take two by just these first two tiles. I've used this wall kind of as a divider because this is just the the tunnel you need. This is extended, so this is the exact same tunnel repeated, but for another two tiles. So I'm just going to show you this bit for now. So, ooh, that lag them. As they walk in. Okay, obviously the sides are going to be stopped so they can't walk through, but as they walk in, they're going to be slowed down by wooden floor spikes, firstly. And I'm going to put two ceiling zappers here, just for the single target damage, a wall dynamo here, and a wall dynamo here. I might even put wall launches, I'm not too sure on that yet. But then this is where it's similar to my double decker build, but quite different as well, because there's, there's two. You can always do three, four, five tiles long, but I'm doing two here. So, obviously, floor launches on what I have built from brick. We're having floor launches here. And, again, it's launching them up into a room that's going to absolutely destroy them. We're going to have about three or four wall dynamos, well, three wall dynamos, a ceiling zapper, wooden floor spikes. Just absolutely destroy them when they get through. And it's going to keep repeating. So, I'm not going to have these in the actual build. I'm going to try and build a second one. I might even be able to get a third. Um, so, six tiles long. I might be able to do that. But they keep coming through, so it repeats again. We have wooden floor spikes here. Wall dynamos or wall launchers either side, and then ceiling um, zappers here. And again, floor launchers here, throw them up and over. Now, I have never tried this, I have never seen anyone try this. This seems quite an overkill in my, um, just in my opinion, it feels quite overkill, but I want to try it anyway. It could be very, very good for storm shields though, because with storm shields, you definitely need bigger tunnels rather than the one by one tunnels people normally do. So I'm going to get this into a, a Twine Peaks mission, and I want to. I'm very curious to see how good this is going to be. Right. So I'm going to try and build this tunnel on the north side and show you how I'm going to build it. Now, this is the first time I'm properly going to build this, so bear with me. I might put a, make a few mistakes. I'm not going to put it too close. Firstly, so we're going to have, let's say, four tiles. Let's do it as, as I actually had it in the my Storm Shield. I'm going to put wall launches along all of these. No, naturally, not along all these. Not along all of them. Right, we need to, I need to start making a patrol wall just to stop these guys that get through. So I'm just going to have this here for a second. Right, so what is going to happen? These are going to have wooden floor spikes. We'll do the traps last, though. So, bear with me while I try and figure out how to do this. So the wooden floor spike is going to come across here. Now I need to very quickly just have my little um, this is where they're all going to die. Where they get launched up. Ooh, the lag. The lag was not very fun. That's where they're getting launched up. So I'm just going to build a second one of these. Like so. And then we build our ramp like that. And if I am correct, I can get rid of this. And that won't collapse. I am right. So I'm going to extend this out a couple tiles more. So let's do that now. Again, these are going to have wooden floor spikes. And then this, these are going to be the... Um, what you, I keep forgetting what they're called. But yeah, you know what I mean. Let's do this here. Have I done that too far? No, I've not. Block this off. But you can easily see how this is taking inspiration from my um, double decker build I did. Last my last trap tunnel. Was it last trap tunnel? No, no, that was my um, uh, timer box. Now I'm struggling to get my. There we go. That's what we wanted. And then finally another set of stairs just to launch them up. Now I'm going to get going with the traps, the actual traps we need to put down here, just to see if this works. So what I'm doing? Let's have some 106 floor launches on these parts here, just here. And here, we're having our wooden floor spikes along here. Like so, just to slow them down at the start. Now these ones, these are going to have the 82 ceiling zappers, just to really punch them through here. Now everything else is going to be stall, just to stall them. We're going to have wall launches here, and wall launches here. Like so. 
Now I'm going to craft some wall lights and add these on them on these walls at the end just so I'm not taking up too much time. And now I think I need to put some more traps around here. Oh, where have I got these? What I've made 12 of these. Did not mean to make 12. And we'll put a floor trap here. Floor zap, whatever it's called. Like so. Now this is definitely an overbuild. You don't really need to do this, but I'm just experimenting with this one. Because you can easily see, because it's wider, you, you can easily see how this could be implemented into a storm shield. I'm just going to make two more ceiling zappers. Where are these ceiling zappers? Hello, where are they? There they are. Two more at 82 level. Oh no, we need to make four more, don't we? Because of the other ones over here. Like so, we just have this here. More wall dynamos, like so. Right, put our ceiling zappers here, 82. I don't want to have like, you know, 106s, that's why I'm using 82s. It is a power 82 mission as well. So we're not going incredibly overkill with the traps. I say that as I put a box with literally that many traps in. I'm just going to put our ceiling zappers up here now. If it lets me, please let me. Ceiling, like that. Now, I, just, I know I said I'd clip this out, but let's put it in anyway. Craft two more wall lights, if possible. Just two. Uh, no, let's do four more. That's what we want. Four more wall lights at 82 level. I can remove all these now. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll clip it out. Right, wall lights, 82 here. Now, I'm putting these ones here, so it lets the floor, floor launchers actually do something, rather than uh, having uh, wall, wall launchers. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to upgrade this, put a base down. I'll show you where I'll put base. I'm going to put it right at the top, maybe. And then I'll get back to you when this is done. Right, okay, as I'm just upgrading it, some husks are coming through. So well, let's see how it works on these guys. Uh, there's no base down yet. So that's going to zap them. I don't, don't think they'll get up. Yeah, they get stunned, they get launched, and then they get zapped up there. So on a bigger scale, that'll work well. I'm going to very quickly, though, just before we start, I'm going to have um, just tier one wood across here to stop the lobbers. So actually, I'll do that now. Let's do that now. Just to stop all the possible lobbers, but they're just just hurting the tunnel itself. Um, we'll go around here. I don't mind if they target the objective. Just don't want the lobbers just ruining this tunnel. Right. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think base is getting ready to put down. I'll put base down. I don't know where to put it. I want it somewhere so the whole objective can get touched. So, not objective. The whole tunnel. Um. Let's put it right at the start. Um, floor, base. Actually, no, no, let's put it here. Like a little wood thing here. Put base here. Make a little one by one out of brick with it just to stop, just in case any other lobbies can possibly get through. And I think we are ready to start. Let's see what the base looks like when it's all electrified. That looks good. It looks incredibly overbuilt, but I think this is going to work very, very good. Okay, I believe we are ready to start. So let's start this now. Now, I want to see if this tunnel really works. Let's see what gets through. Come on, husks. Let's see what they do. They're coming through. They get zapped. That's what we want. The first initial damage there. Then they get pushed around like little rag dolls. Like so. They're not even making it through. <laughs> They're just getting pinged about. Bit of pinball there. There's the wall lights. They're going to get fling up. Ah, yeah, they get zapped like that. This is a proper overkill. It's one of the biggest tunnels. I've, I think it's the biggest tunnel I've done in this um, tunnel thing I'm doing. I'm just going to have a turret here just to help him out over there. They really just get ragdolled about. Right, this guy's making it through a bit. But he's going to die soon. Okay, you can see how you can extend this just as much as you want. It's just repetition. S some of the traps up there have been used as well. Oh, this guy's going to get through. Come on, let him get through. No! This is great. It's really stopping the blasters because the blasters are locking onto me as well. And they're trying to get me here. But because when they stop to lock on, hey, the blast... Oh, he didn't get launched up properly. Did he? Where did he go? Wait, did I just see that properly? Did the blaster go on top of the objective? Did I see that correctly? How on earth did he phase through that? Let me just clear him out. I don't know how he got up there. Alright, let's get back to the tunnel. This is a very good one for storm shields. I'd say that. Especially for the ones where it's like survive 10 minutes or 5 minutes. It's another good one. It's very stally. 
as you can see. The only one that's got here so far is that Riot Husky. I don't know how it got through, but look at that. They're barely even getting through here. I'm just going to put another turret on this side to help him out a bit, because there's a smasher on its way. And a little explosion. Easy. Get some more husks. Maybe I should have upped the difficulty just to have more husks than a single husk spawn there. I've definitely overbuilt. You can see how it's worked though. Nothing has passed. Oh, are we getting a smasher? Right. Smasher is the main test. See if this can work on a smasher. We know the blaster's going to stop to lock onto me. Blasters. Right. The blaster firstly gets launched by the wall launchers. But it gets launched a second time. Right, he gets stunned, he gets flung up there, takes an awful lot of damage up there. Now the thing is, will he hit the walls? He hits the walls, but he gets frozen because the base is there, which is what we want. And this gives the traps time to reload and zap him, maybe. There we go, the smash is dead. Okay, I quite like this build. It's definitely something that you need a lot of resources to put into this. I've used a lot of brick with this one because I've tried to level up, up um, to tier 3 brick just in case of a sploder. This is working pretty decently, though. Much better than I first thought. They really get ragdolled around by these a lot. Maybe you could get um, put some wall lights on here as well, just to stun them again. Instead of them being ragdolled around. But it's really up to you how you build certain tunnels. Like, you don't have to have wall lights here. You can go for a bit of extra damage with a wall dynamo. Something has just broke there. I really am unsure why. It's maybe because of the spawn, but I don't know why that would happen. We don't want him locking onto me. Let's try and peek like that. Working very well though. Very, very well. Something's took a bit of damage on that side. I've put that there. It's quite decent, but I would say leave a larger type of tunnel like this for um, storm shields or something like that. Just going to put a slowing field just because he's getting um, some getting through. Definitely use this on a storm shield, but you need a bit of open space. But again, you can just, it's only two tiles. You, you can just do it at one, two by one here. If you want to have like a, like that, it can be so much different. But that was the tunnel. I quite enjoyed that. It's a very big one, but with tunnels, you can have them in one straight, you know, one, one tile uh, range. Or you can extend them for two or three or four. This time I had two, but I quite like that tunnel. I'm very happy with that. See the... Combat score, two th fairly even, but that tunnel is very good. I'd like to see someone put that to use on a Storm Shield, because that was quite good for me. At the end of that, I quite enjoyed that build. It's definitely one I'd like to implement into a Storm Shield, because there's quite a lot of flat landed Storm Shields most of the time. So you can really just extend that quite massively. You can do like um, 10 tiles across, possibly. That will be very good. It's very, very stally as well. Completely stalls the husks. None of them got through. Absolutely none of them got through. Just kept stalling them, launching them up. They were going to the traps. I quite like that, but you can definitely see how I take inspiration from that double decker build with this one. I quite enjoyed it as well. But again, like I said, it doesn't have to be two across, but it as long as well. You can have it as long as you want, really. Like I had, I think, four tiles long. And then you can always build it to eight tiles. Definitely has to be a multiple of two, though, because it needs to be at least two tiles long for the first set. But let me know what you guys think of this trap tunnel, and thank you for watching.